Well, our other big story of the night, a corruption scandal involving Philadelphia traffic court. Nine elected judges are among those who have been charged in a federal ticket fixing scandal. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Walt Hunter tells us that they went to great pains to keep this process secret, even at times speaking in code. Walt. Ah, uh, yes, one of those code words, according to this indictment, a consideration. If a judge gave you a consideration, the prosecutors say, that meant you were getting your ticket fixed. How blatant was it? Well, one man actually put an ad in the newspaper advertising he could get tickets fixed. But today, prosecutors stepped forward with the FBI, and the justice process began. And on this day outside traffic court, residents we talked to applauded the arrests, saying that fixing tickets is unfair to those who must come to court to fight for justice. The city of Philadelphia is corrupt as they can get. Is all there is to it. I think all Philadelphians should be embarrassed that this is our court system. Lynn Marks, who leads Pennsylvanians for Modern Courts, says the indictments of the judges are a sure sign that reforms must be made now. It's just not fair that because you know some political figure that you're going to get off and I'm not. And so at mid afternoon, courtroom 9A here at the federal courthouse was filled with judges. Judges that prosecutors say are now on the wrong side of the law. Everyone's free after signing their own bond. And by the way, prosecutors say among those who got their tickets fixed were a number of very dangerous drivers who should have been prosecuted and convicted and perhaps kept off the streets. Philadelphia traffic court judges indicted for fraud. FBI Philadelphia Division press release. An indictment and three separate informations unsealed today charged nine elected judges along with three other individuals in a fraud conspiracy that involved a frequent and pervasive ticket fixing at the Philadelphia traffic court. The defendants participated in a widespread culture of giving breaks on traffic citations to friends, family, the politically connected and business associates. The defendants include Michael J. Sullivan, sitting judge of the traffic court, Michael Lowry, sitting judge, traffic court, Robert Mulgrew, former judge, Traffic Court. Willie Singletary, former judge, Traffic Court. Thomasini Tynes, former judge. Bono, local businessman. Robert Moy, local businessman. The 77 count indictment was announced by United States Attorney Zane David Mameger and acting special agent in charge John Brosnan. Among the suspects, William Hurd, director of records for the. My client is an honest, tax paying, hard working citizen who is going to work every day and is being indicted for uh, essentially doing his job. I'm confident in my God and I'm confident in my lawyer. Former Philadelphia traffic court judge Willie Singletary left court expressing optimism that he would prevail over charges in a federal indictment, alleging that he and five other current and former judges were part of a culture of ticket fixing. The way I read the indictment, and I'm, I'm, I'm not being cavalier, but it, it doesn't seem to do anything but lay out the history of the traffic court as it's run as long as I've been around. Well, prosecutors during this case portrayed traffic court as a, a place of cronyism where family and friends got special treatment. Well, five former Philadelphia traffic court judges accused of ticket fixing have now been cleared by a jury of the main charges against them. The jury today cleared former judges Michael Lowry, Robert Mulgrew, Willie Singletary, Michael Sullivan, and Thomasine Tynes on counts of conspiracy, mail, and wire fraud. The jury, however, did convict Lowry, Mulgrew, Singletary, and Tynes on counts of perjury or lying to the grand jury and investigators. It wasn't the verdict that we hoped for, uh, but we obviously accept the jury's verdict in this case. It's been two years of stress, strain. It's been very difficult for myself and my family. We're going to appeal this decision. We didn't, we were, they said we were not guilty of doing anything wrong. How can I make a wrong mistake? Moments ago, former judge, former president judge of traffic court, Thomasine Tynes, walked free here after signing her own bail. She had surrendered with her attorney early this morning, charged with bribery and other offenses after an investigation. By
pro quo. The expensive bracelet waived by District Attorney Seth Williams came at quite a cost to former Philadelphia Traffic Court President Judge Thomasine Tynes. The jewelry, an alleged bribe, part of the evidence leading to her arrest. It's a $2,000 Tiffany charm bracelet. The bracelet that Judge Tynes received for promising special access to a businessman who said he was seeking an exclusive and very lucrative government contract. This grand jury presentment claims Tynes at one point toasted the gift giver, not aware he was a confidential informant who was secretly recording. Confidential informant. To making some money together. Tynes, to making money. Well, today, a federal judge sentenced former Philadelphia traffic court uh, judge Thomasine Tynes to two years in prison. She was charged with lying to authorities in a wide-ranging ticket-fixing case. Tynes must also pay a fine of $5,000. The judge rejected a defense request for house arrest or probation for the 71-year-old.